Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,212. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1,210 to 1,214 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to talk about filtering, making charts, and what happens when your chart disappears. I had a student in my class, does awesome data analysis with Excel, and, and he just couldn't understand why when he filtered, the chart would disappear. So I want to first make a chart. And this is uh, historical data on Yahoo. And I need just the date and the adjusted close. So I'm going to click in the top cell, Control Shift Down arrow to highlight all the way to the bottom. But I don't want any of these middle, middle columns. So watch this. Um, before I click in the bottom cell in the adjusted close, I'm going to hold Control. Now I've selected this whole range and a cell not next to each other. Now I'm going to hold Control Shift Up Arrow. That's a way that we can highlight columns not next to each other. Now I can simply go to Insert, and I need a line chart. I want the date as the horizontal axis, and the line's going to be determined by the adjusted price. Now that's a beautiful chart, right? It's showing me the entire history of Yahoo. Here's the internet bubble, and here's the last few years. Now, let's turn on filter, because filter can hide rows. And filter and charts are just awesome, because when I hide the rows, the data will disappear on the chart. I want a single cell in my data set selected. It doesn't matter which one. Data, and there's the filter button. Or you can use Control Shift L, and there's those awesome drop downs. Now I'm going to filter by date, and watch this. I'm simply going to unselect all, and I want to see only 2014. Before I click OK, here's the chart. When I click OK, oh, filter is amazing for looking at different parts of your data set. No problem. Now I'm going to come over here. Uncheck 2014. I want to see 2013. And what happened? My chart disappeared. Well, filter hides rows. You can't put anything next to a data set that you're filtering. Now, I actually didn't. You could see a little piece there. I should have moved it down so we couldn't see it at all. I'm going to unfilter this. right? I'm going to select all, click OK. The chart is back. The solution is whatever you're building off to the side, formulas, charts, or whatever, you got to move it. You can't have it next to the filter data set, because filter hides rows. I'm going to highlight the row headers all the way down here and right click Insert. And that'll insert a bunch of rows. And then if I'm doing data analysis to visually check out different parts of Yahoo's history, now it'll work. If I uncheck everything and check 2014, there it is, no problem. If I go down to 2013, boom. So that is what to do if you filter and your chart disappears. Just put it at the top. All right, we'll see you next video.